And it's, fine, and it's time for women to finally start admitting, you guys cheat far more than men. And you, 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 cheat, more, you, you cheat far more than men. Um, and you used to could say that and have to put caveats in it, but now we even include sex. See, it used to be a time where cheating was considered actually a man having sex with another woman. But see, you ladies, you decide to actually have non-sexual beta male orbiters around you and you get men's non-sexual attention in addition to your man's attention. So my question is, ladies, why, why do you have such a problem with cheating when half of you got a backup plan in mind? Why do you have such a problem with cheating when one out of four of you will get married and the ones that, and even, and understand in our community, the one in four that gets married got a backup plan in mind. Hmm? So ladies, what should we talk about? So, so, so what we're saying that men, gentlemen, this is why you want to increase your value and become the most valuable version of yourself possible. This is why you never, ever want to have your woman be on social media because social media allows women access to men outside of their geography. There's no reason your woman should be on social media outside of LinkedIn if she works. There's no reason your wife should be on your, your wife, your girlfriend, your significant other should be on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Because what does it do? It opens the door to these backup plans. Like it or not, ladies. And see, the funny thing is there are a lot of women in here going to laugh. But see, these women are not married. See, the women who have a, the women who have the the women who have the integrity the mindset of I'm going to stay, make my relationship work, they understand the logic behind this. They understand that you, that you need to, that a woman of value restricts access that the men have to her. See, this is why being a high value woman is different than being a high value man. A high value woman is attractive and appealing. She has a comforting character. She's discerning and disciplined. She's liberating and loyal. She's enthusiastic and exuberant. See, the discerning is a woman saying, I'm with Keith Henry. I'm, I'm with my guy. And I'm going to be discerning enough to know that I'm an attractive woman. And I know that men who are coming into my space are not here to be my friend. Men and women can't be friends. So any man coming into my area is offering me non-sexual attention in the hopes that I will think and put him in the, in, in the realm of a backup plan. 